All right, now that we're back from our little tutorial break, um, the next thing we need to do is to make something to display what we've just calculated. So let's make a text view under the button that says that has a new string. It's going to say answer. New, and now this new r dot string is going to be ants. All right. Now we're going to need to edit the text of this button to say, let's just say calculate. Calculate r dot string dot calc. Now. So, what we have here is the general layout of what our app is going to look like. Now, we need to change some things um, in the coding point that uh, will... Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to uh, add an ID to this answer text view. Now this is going to be answer txt. Now, um, so what I was saying is that we need to add something for this button to do. So double click on the button, should take you in here. Now, before this little slash and the close, what you gotta do is push enter, type in android dot on click Ooh. my bad colon on um, click and it should show up here for you equals do the um, function let's just say calculate we're gonna make we're gonna define what calculate does later now so this should be good so assuming that this is how you like it you're going to go into the package explorer here in first app src click on the little arrow expand that expand this double click on main activity java or whatever you named your main activity now so let me explain what this does so this is called a class this class is called main activity. It extends what the Android activity does. Now, uh, this onCreate method is run, is run every time the app starts. So what it does is it loads the saved instance state and then sets the view, what sets what the app uh, looks like based on this layout that we just made here. So, go back to this. Now, uh, this creates an options menu for you, and pretty much it uh, inflates the menu like a deflated balloon being inflated, and lets you create a uh, options menu. Now, we don't need to worry about this. So, what we're going to do is type in public, because we want the layout to be able to access this, public void calculate, spelled and capitalized the exact same as what we named uh, what this button does in our uh, layout. So take that, put it into here. Now open parentheses, view, capital V, lowercase v, v. All right, now open squiggly brace, enter, and it should insert a close squiggly brace. Now hover abo above this underlined view, click import view. All right, so what we just did there was we gave this uh, calculate 
uh, function that the button called in our layout something to do and it gets the view of the button r right here so if we click on this it will take a screenshot of this button basically and pass it along to this calculate function here now we need to uh, tell this what to do. The uh, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get these text boxes right here. We are going to get these into our code. So the first one, its ID is num1text. Now we're going to need to create a new edit text which is what that is called. And we're going to name this number one text equals parentheses edit text find view by ID open parentheses capital R dot ID all lowercase dot okay well it looks like since we didn't save this it's not showing up so what we're going to, need to do is click this little multiple floppy disk button that'll save all of them click back in here backspace and push dot again and it should show up da -da -da -da. it's going to be called number one text and we need to end the line with a semicolon. Now make sure you type in the capitals the exact same as I did here. Capital F, or lowercase f for find, capital V for view, capital B for buy, and capital I for ID. Now I need to get a drink, so I'll pause. Alright, I'm back. Now, um, so hover above the red squigglies here and Im do the same thing that you did before, import edit text. This should have yellow squigglies under it. That means that it's not used yet. So I'm going I'm to explain this line for you. So in uh, Java, the programming language of Android, um, if you have a name of a type of object, in this case a text box or edit text, in parentheses, and then you multiply that, which is basically what this is doing, by the text or the text box that you get from this ID that you already said. That will give you an edit text or a text box called this. Alrighty, so. We are going to copy that line, paste it, and change this to number two, and change this to number two. Now we just got the other text box. Isn't that easy? All right. So what are we going to do with this? Now, so the first thing that we need to do is get the integer or the uh, number that is inputted into the first and second text box. To do this, we're going to make a new inti integer, calling it text er num1 and num2, semicolon. First thing that we're going to do is click before the comma here and type in equals. Now this is going to get kind of uh, complex here for a second, but I'll explain it. Integer, capital I, dot, parse, int. Now we're going to type in, in these parentheses that, parentheses that it just gave us, number one text dot get 
text. Enter. Now, this will come up with an error because right now we're getting the text, not the string of, of letters. So, you need to type in dot to string. And that will convert it to something that this, this can handle. So let's select from the parentheses all the way back to integer, or the equal sign. Copy that, put it right here, change this to number two, and we're good. All right, so now I'll explain this for you. Let's save all here. And I'll explain this entire line. So we're going to call the integer class, which is the, the type of object that we're using, and we're going to find the integer inside of the text inside of, uh, or from the text box from the first number. Then we just did the same thing here, and we have our numbers from the text boxes. They're called number one, or num1 and num2. So, what are we going to do with these numbers? How about let's add them? All right, so let's make a new integer, new number, that will store what, what, what the final answer, so ants for short, of num1 plus num2. Grady. That's not a word. Let's just say great. All right, uh, so now we have num1, sorry. Uh, now we have uh, the answer of those two numbers being added together. So uh, what do we need to do? We need to change what the answer text, text view here says to be answer is ants. So, we need to get the uh, answer text view, like we did here, and uh, assign the text to be ants. So, text view, ooh, that's not right, text view, with the first T and the first V being capital, capitalized, ants equals text view find cap lowercase capital V view uh, find view capital by capital ID parenthesis r dot id dot answer text same basic concept as before, but we need to import the text view, just like we did before, with the edit text. Now, this uh, changes what we find here to a text view called answer. So, we need to set the text of answer to be quotation marks, because the quotation marks tells it that this is what the text is going to say, to be answer, colon, space, er, quotation mark, plus ants, dot, to, string of letters. All right, here we go. This, what this will do is it will set the text, set, set what the text view answer says to answer plus the answer to a string of letters. All right. So let's test to see if this works. To do that, we click the arrow here and we choose Android application, save it. 
and wait for the internet. I mean, it'll 